Boom! What's going on? It's my next video. Yeah! So sometimes when I'm coaching guys and they get inspired to change their life or change their job or their career or their passion and they're, you know, they're really rediscovering who they are and things happen. They sometimes have this little panic freak out where they're like, ah, but I like so many things. I don't know what to do with my life. I love this and that and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And how can I pick one thing and focus on it? And I'm like, stop panicking. And I wanted to talk about this one simple concept, which is your passion throughout life will always change. And that change is normal. That change is beautiful. Think about the contrast. Think about how exciting it'll be to look back when you're, you know, whatever, you're 70 and then you've, you've, you've had like five, six, seven different amazing things you've done with your life. That's what makes it interesting. That's why this whole old paradigm of like, yeah, go and study and get a career and like pay your taxes and do your whole same shit, that doesn't exist. That's boring. Nobody wants that anymore. And nobody really wanted it then. But then you used to get a lot of money to do one thing and it kind of worked. But it doesn't anymore. So, so, so I'll give you like a little example. So for me, I was very lucky. I started doing stand-up at 17. Loved stand-up and I immediately knew like I'm a comedian, that's who I am. It's in my blood. Wasn't really thinking about it at all. Got heavily into that. Around 2003, I discovered poker and I was like, wow, poker's amazing. And I was good and it was so much fun and I loved it. I loved the strategy of it. It was so much fun. And I really thought about it and I thought about becoming a professional poker player and I went, nah, it's not as big a passion as my comedy. I love the comedy. So I'll play a little on the side. It'll be fun, but I kept doing the comedy. So move forward in time comes to around 2006-7, I read the game and I, and I realize I'm, I suck with girls and, I'm, and, and I start doing the day game and, and hooking up with girls and I realize, wow, hitting on women and helping other people hit on women is the greatest thing ever, I love this. And it totally took over my life and actually in that phase, I loved it more than comedy. Comedy, I, you know, love the comedy but I was just so into this, I started doing this, that became my big passion. And, and moving forward, I did that for years and it was an amazing, amazing thing. And now I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, this whole thing with the girls, it's really been great, but actually I'm much more excited about uh, helping men now, not just with their relationships, but uh, you know, finding their passion and making more money and doing what they want for a living, getting healthy and feeling good in your body, uh, finding your, uh, you know, your spiritual connection, all that stuff. And, and, and I'm so interested in all these other things. Suddenly I'm like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go and do something that, that you know, it essentially entails helping guys in all of these areas of life, including relationships with other things. And so, and so now I'm going to do that. And then I'll do that for a while, then I might go, you know what, now nah, I'm going to go do this other thing. So it's totally normal to just, to just do what you love in the moment, and that's the only thing that really matters. And this is why it's such a shame when people, you know, they, rather than just doing what they love now, they go, no, 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 I know I love this, but I have to do this now for money or for whatever. My parents want me to do this, or society will respect me if I do this. So they end up spending 10 years doing this thing, and finally they get the money or they get the house or whatever it is, and then they go, okay, I'm gonna go do that thing that I love now. And they go to it and they go, yeah, I, I don't really like that thing anymore, shit. So for that reason, because it's always changing and you're always changing as a person, you don't wanna do anything that you don't love ever. Ever, ever, ever. If you don't love what you're doing, find a way. I don't care if you have to sleep on a French friend's house, fucking sell drugs, um, s s like do stock trading on the side, sell your ass on the street. Doesn't matter. Find a way and do what you love doing because you won't love it forever. You're always changing. Love your passion. That's pretty much what I wanted to say. So you don't have to pick any one thing. That's about it. Thank you for listening. I hope that's useful. And for all you guys who are interested in doing all the stuff I just talked about, come to the Infinite Man Summit. It's happening in a couple of weeks, September 16th, 18th in London. And if you watch this video in the future, don't panic. You'll still be able to access all that good footage. I'll put some links in below that are relevant. Love you guys and see you next time. This is another principle that I think you'll recognize right away, but it's fascinating. What I did was, rather than just saying, hey, people pay me money, I didn't do that. There was another guy who was also coming. Students, they come to me and say, well, we're getting out of college and we have the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask.